Hello, and welcome to another episode of Utensilism. Today is Tuesday, the day we're filming this anyway, is uh, 2-22-2022, Tuesday. Um, and it's a cold day here in Colorado, I have a cold snap coming in. So we're going to make one of my favorite meals to make. It's kind of really easy to make, but uh, it's, it's really a delicious meal that doesn't take a lot of prep time. It takes a good amount of cook time, but not a lot of prep time, as you'll see. We're going to cook a Cornish hen, and the way we're going to cook it is in our air fryer and the rotisserie setting, which I find is really amazing. We have a Power Air Fryer Pro as a gift from my mother-in-law, my wife's mother, and we've used this thing a ton. It, it's really amazing. Uh, it has three racks for uh, French fries, uh, whatever, whatever you want to fry. This thing cooks it amazingly. Uh, there's a little drip pan in the bottom. I don't want to make sure that that's going to be in there. And uh, we got a couple seasonings that we're going to put on there. Also enjoying a nice beverage while we make this. If you haven't seen our episode on gin and tonic, check it out. Really amazing. Um, I like to put blackberries in mine. So what we're going to do with the hen is we're going to take the rotisserie pieces that come with it. Just a, a rod and then some kind of prongs that will go on each side and we'll screw onto the rod. So we'll just start on one end and stick the uh, rod all the way through the chicken as best that you can. Just kind of work it through, push it through until it comes out the other side. There it goes. And then we're going to put the prongs on and kind of stab them into the chicken to hold it in place. Just kind of want to center it as best that we can on the rod and then tighten the screw. And then do the same thing on the other side. I like to just kind of flip it the other direction. I think you know, they kind of go on one way or the other, but if I have one on each way, it tends to hold the hen in place really well. It can be harder to get the second one in though. Twist that one into place. And now it is on, secured on both ends. We're gonna wash our hands real quick as we're touching all up on this head. And we're gonna put two seasonings on it. I like to put garlic salt and uh, Montreal steak seasoning. It says it's for steak, but it works really well on these Cornish hens. So once we have it on the, on the rod, we can just kind of hold the rod and just really generously sprinkle the salt all on the hen as best you can. Make sure you get the wings. It's Really, there's not a lot of meat on the wings, but they're the, one of my favorite parts. It's really tasty. And next, the Montreal steak seasoning. And it is really good. Just adds a little extra kick, a little extra flavor. Kind of helps add to the, to the crunch. With this one, I, I kind of, a little more sparingly. Make sure we get it all over the hen. There you 
go. Pulley seasoned up. We're gonna put it in to the air fryer. There's a, a notch on each side. Just kind of slip it in on one side. And then you can hear it click when it goes in there. it. Close up our air fryer. We're going to set it to 400 degrees. Most Cornish hens are about the same size, so I've kind of dialed in the, the temperature to be at uh, 400 degrees at 45 minutes. Make sure you hit the rotisserie setting. And then if we uh, turn on the light, you should be able to see once it gets going that hen will start turning in there and we'll check back in in 45 minutes. All right, it's been 45 minutes. Uh, I spent this 45 minutes making a delicious risotto to go with our chicken, but that'll be for a different episode. Our uh, buzzer just went off, and now we'll use these uh, this little gadget here to help us take the hen out. It's going to be very hot, so I'm going to show it to you, but uh, we're going to let it sit for a couple minutes. Ooh, yes. So there is our perfectly cooked Cornish hen. The skin will be crispy, the chicken will be cooked all the way through. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna carve off the breasts, the thighs, and the wings. It's about all you get out of a Cornish hen, but it's a perfect meal for two. Uh, if you're cooking for more than two, just one hen per two people is enough meal, uh, enough meat for a meal. And so, I'm gonna let this sit a couple minutes. We're gonna serve it up with the, uh, the risotto and have ourselves a, a delicious cold day meal. One of my favorites. So thanks for watching Utensilism today. Uh, follow us on uh, Twitter, like us on Facebook, check out our website, utensilism.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, all social media, at Utensilism. Thanks guys.